that he should not, neither see the son of man, that he should repent. If the Lord said it, then he's going to bring it to pass. And this year, I'm standing on God's promises that whatever God has spoken to my life, that it's got to come to pass. i got a place i got to get to, and God, I feel like there's a place that God is calling me to that i got to get to. But in order for me to get there, i got to get up out of my laziness and do what God is calling for me to do. A lot of times, we don't want to get up and pray. We don't want to get up and fast. We don't want to get up and read our word. We'd rather just sit there and watch TV and be comfortable in what we're doing. But you got to understand that if you want something from God, you got to get up and do something. So you go on to talk about how on the day of Pentecost, that they was all in one place in one accord, and they appeared to them clothed in tongues and like as a fire. And for many of us, we got to understand that what we have inside of us is greater than what we think. That we got the Holy Ghost inside of us, and that is power all by itself. That's power to speak to what I'm going through and tell my mountain that it's got to be moved. That's power to speak to my situation and tell that confusion that it's peace be still. you got to understand that life and death lies within the power of the tongue. The Bible says that I shall live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. You must understand this morning that what's inside of you that is greater than what you think. Here the Bible says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The Bible goes on to talk about and that this was that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and my sons and my daughters shall prophesy. You must understand that what I have inside of me, I can speak to my situation. The Bible goes on to talk about this lame man that was laying there at the gate called Beautiful. And the Bible says that he laid there daily. The Bible says that this lame man, he was lame even from his mother's womb, which means that from birth he had this condition. And when you find that when you look at the term lame, is a congenital club feet, which means if you think of two golf clubs uh, turned this way, that's how his feet was, which means he could not move no matter how hard he may have tried to walk. And many of us is just like that in our situation. No matter how hard you try to move, no matter how hard you want to walk out of what you're going through, it seems as though you're not getting anywhere. It seems as though you're still like in a stagnated position. It seems as though you're stuck. It seems as though you're not going anywhere. But I came to speak to you this morning to let you know that you're closer than you think. The Bible goes on to talk about this lame man, how he had this, he's had this condition uh, from his mother's womb, which prevented him 